hey, remember how it was just like a couple, you know, Donald Trump was just crazy and the people around him and oh, the Republican Party was supposed to be normal as our press told us and too many Democrats, frankly, going to 2020. Yeah. Um, well, the two men, two of the men uh, were now found guilty, convicted in Michigan uh, for their plot to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer, uh, who is, is the governor and will be after we kick that lunatic Tudor Dixon's butt, who thinks that 14 year olds raped by their uncles should consider it to be a good case. I think a, she, she used it as a good example of a time when you should have a child. Her name is Tudor Dixon, which can't be real. Um, Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr. were guilty of conspiring to obtain a weapon of mass destruction, namely a bomb, to blow up a bridge and stymie police if the kidnapping could be pulled off at Whitmer's vacation home. Stymie police means murdering police. They're going to blow up a bomb on a bridge. If the police were on, they're going to die. They had assault rifles. They were going to shoot police. Let's call it what it is. They were going to murder law enforcement. They were going to murder Gretchen Whitmer. Um, and all of this um, was in the sort of motivational, was supposed to be the motivation, the spark that kicked off a second revolution or American civil war. That is what they were going for here. They are seditionists. They are traitors. They're domestic terrorists. They should never see the light of day outside of a prison again. Um, it's good. Originally, some of these guys have gotten off on some charges. So it's pretty, frankly, important that they just were found convicted. Um, the judge in this, or sorry, U.S. Attorney <laughs> Niles Kessler, I'm laughing because his understatement of the year, you can't just strap on an AR-15 and body armor and go snatch the governor. Well, that's a whole other conversation about how we should ban AR-15s and we should ban body, body armor, except for soldiers and people that need it for their jobs, obviously, certain police and whatever, um, because these guys now all wear body armor. I went to the NRA convention in 2015. They sell it everywhere. And it ends up leading to be to police and innocent civilians dying, like in the Buffalo market when a racist piece of you know what showed up to murder African Americans, and the guard there shot him a number of times, but he was wearing body armor and shot back and killed the guard. Um, so uh, Kessler, back to Kessler, the the, the uh, prosecutor. Their ultimate goal was quote they wanted to set off a second American Civil War, or a second American Revolution. I promise you, if you ask them, they don't know the difference. They couldn't give you the dates of either. They'd probably mix them up. Probably thought Lee led us uh, um, in Valley Forge against the Russians um, while fighting alongside um, the Salvadorians. Um, in any case, I digress. Um, they want to start a second American revolution, something they call the Boogaloo. We've heard about that, the Boogaloo Boys, right? Another one of these groups like the Proud Boys. And even though Boogaloo, you could make all sorts of jokes that I won't. Um, they're a fascist organization and they're the military wing of the Republican Party that is morphing before our eyes into a full-blown domestic terrorist uh, organization. Um, and they wanted to do it for a long time before they settled on Governor Whitmer. So they potentially had numerous people they were going to go after. Um, one of their members, it seems, turned them in when he became alarmed about the fact that they were talking about killing police. Uh, he was in a, a Wisconsin paramilitary group, so he actually didn't feel bad about Gretchen Whitmer. He's okay with killing Democrats and any civilians he got in the way, just cops, which makes him, I don't know, quarter step above them on the evolutionary ladder. Not much. Uh, still an awful and horrible person. Um, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything else that's really important here? This isn't Russia. This isn't how our country works, Croft attorney Joshua Blanchard said. You don't get to suspect that someone might commit a crime. You know, they were arrested and they did commit crimes. They had planned to kidnap her and they were using, they had weapons they obtained illegally. Bombs. Gee, I don't know. I love that this isn't Russia. If you got your way, it would be Russia because you're the guy that you love and you want to install in power, Donald Trump, uh, is a Putin agent or is a Putin uh, idiot and uh, bowed before him in Helsinki. And so is Ted Cruz and Rand Paul and Ron Johnson, who came back and repeated their COVID talking points after a group of seven or eight of them went over there the, the, to the most natural place you would go on the 4th of July, the Kremlin. Isn't that where we all like to go for our barbecues? Um, I love how they still throw out Russia like it's a bad thing, as if they are not close friends with them, as if David Duke didn't go and live in Russia, David Duke being part of their base, as if... Steven Seagal, another member of their base, hasn't gone and lived there. There's just this weird attraction of right-wing nationalists who hate everybody who is a different race, religion, sexual orientation, and the rest of going and living in Russia. And I, I just can't seem to figure out what that is. I'm sure that's all just a coincidence and Putin's persecuting everybody. It has nothing to do with it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else more that you need to know about this story. In the end, two men were held responsible. They should go to prison the rest of their lives. They are every bit the same as Al-Zahiri. 
we don't just blow them up as we do when it's foreign terrorists because that's on the battlefield, but these two should see solitary confinement uh, much of the day and should be in prison for the rest of their lives. And I mean the real prisons, not the nice ones. Um, and we've taken apart another plot incited by uh, the rhetoric of Trump and Cruz and the rest of them who, again, now won't start attacking, stop attacking the FBI, even though the FBI building in Cincinnati and Phoenix and these places are being attacked and threatened. Same deal here is they, they motivated these guys by telling them lies and these guys went out there and were ready to kill large groups of people, including the governor of Michigan and maybe other officials there. This is today's Republican Party morphing before your eyes into a domestic terrorist unit. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. We're so close to 7,000. Everybody can to join. We're like 30 or 40 away, um, and that's in like three months. I'm really excited with the growth here. Please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Also hit smash the uh, that button so you get notifications, like, and the rest, comment. And um, and you can find me on, on Twitter, at Cliff Schechter. That is at Cliff Schechter. Thanks for being here. Thank you.